and a good morning Windhelm. After traveling from Irothgar, here we are. Much, much further north. Gonna come to, uh... The old palace, the old keep. Have a little chit-chat with Ulfric. See if we can get him to agree to this truce. Only the foolish or the courageous approach a Jarl without summons. Do I know you? Uh, I have a message from the Greybeards, which doesn't even answer your question. But, yeah. Message, Greybeards. It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? They want to negotiate a truce until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Well, politics be damned. Let's try. Let's just give it a shot. Alduin, the world leader of song and legend. If that's true, we're all doomed anyway. And if it isn't true, well, then the fight to free Skyrim goes on. Either way, I don't see the use in talking to the Empire. Yeah, Tullius will look weak if he refuses, not you. You're right. Let Tullius be the one to insult the Grey Beards by refusing their summons. Show up these Imperials for the foreigners they really are. So you come to the Peace Council? I wonder what yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. Alright. Well, that was pretty straightforward. He's against us. So, now we got another long, long journey. We need to head to Solitude. Talk to good old Tullius. See what he's up to. Hello, horse. Just in time. And let's be off. Solitude. How's it going? It's not much to ask. I'm not interested. So we got ourselves a place to go. Go track down good old Tullius. Word is sh should be somewhere around here. Are you feeling sick? No. Feeling good. How about you? Speaking of... Tullius. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Yeah. Message from the Greybeards. The Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? They're convening a peace council at High Ruthgar. Why? There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. Well, we need a truce until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. They are getting to be a problem, but I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. Well, Ulfric has already agreed to attend. Has he? I suppose he doesn't want to miss a chance to bluster about the Empire's many crimes. He's probably hoping I'll refuse so he can blame the Empire for being unreasonable. I think I'll have to disappoint him yet again. So, you'll come to the Peace Council then? Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. Okay. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He did mention that to me. He'd be insane to try. So, <clears throat> Now, why run won't help me, da 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 So we gotta do the truce. Convene the Imperial Storm close to agree to a truce in order to defeat Alduin, who is a threat to both sides of the Civil War. So now we just gotta go back, talk to Arngear. Another work, long, day, long trek. We'll see you there. 
I feel it's worth mentioning we could still use this opportunity to shout Helvik off the mountainside. No? Fine. Let's do this. Yes, Lucy, and we, we have <clears throat> some business we need to take care of. We can't just go shouting people off of mountains. So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Uh, don't worry. I'll get them to agree to peace. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table, and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Okay. So, fair warning, if you have not gotten this far into the story ever, I'm surprised. But, there's about to be a lot of talking. Arn gear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? You are not invited here. You're not welcome here. We have as much right to be in this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the Dragonborn on this map. Were you? Hubris of the Blades truly knows no bounds. If it were up to you, the Dragonborn would sit dreaming on this mountain doing nothing. Delphi, we're not here to rehearse your grudge. The matter at hand is urgent. Aldrin must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know a great deal about the situation and the threat that Aldrin poses to us all. You need us here if you want this council to succeed. Uh, very well. You may enter. Okay. I mean, it's their house, their rules. All right, so, as I was saying, there is about to be a lot of talking. A lot of it, so, if you're, uh, not a fan of just listening to a lot of dialogue, feel free to skip forward. Um, cause, yeah, a lot of talking to be had. So, let's have ourselves a seat. No. Take our seat, which we just did. Guess we gotta wait. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. Okay, time to negotiate a truce. We all come no. here in the spirit. You insult us by bringing her to this negotiation. Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch. Either she walks or I do. Well, I think you're right. Thou more have no business here. I'm glad we agree on this. Very well, Alfric. Enjoy your petty victory. The Thalmor will treat with whatever government rules Skyrim. We would not think of interfering in your civil war. Ha! Skyrim will never bow to the Thalmor. 
Unlike your Imperial friends here. You're lucky I respect the Greybeard's counsel, Galmar. Legate, we represent the Emperor here. Sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the Dragon Menace. There's nothing else to talk about, unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be able to resist. A temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar, and do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. Want in return. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire and deserve a traitor's death. But I, at least, will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Hmm. Markarth... ...for Riften. Hmm. The Rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil... ...and threatened Ulfric's southern flank. The Dragonborn has spoken, Talius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk of good faith. You disappoint me, Dragonborn. I accepted your invitation on trust in your good name. But it seems you intend to favor Ulfric. I can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the headman's axe. And this time, there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the Lamb hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. 
If this truce will help the Dragonborn here put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Show us bones. Where will these demands end? I'm listening. We want compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. True sons of Skyrim would never do such things. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation this for your butchery. All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. So, Dragonborn, what do you say? In the uh, interest of being fair, Ulfric should compensate you for Carthwaston. Well said. For once, you'll actually pay for your crimes. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric. General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Ingmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. The Stormcloaks will pay appropriate compensation for the massacre at Cartwaston. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Alison? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, come on. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Thalgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains, how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temple. An unguessed troll of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of the Dragon Burial Sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. Okay, how does that help us? Uh, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. So why would he come when called? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. All right, so what's the dragon's name? Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here, in the scroll. Od Avin, winged snow hunter, as I read it. I hope this truth gives you what we need. It won't last. All right. There is one more thing. We know about Parthenath. 
Okay, you know what? Parthenax, the dragon that the Greybeards have been protecting for all these years. He needs to die. He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. Until he's dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. Parthenax, eh? <clears throat> Speak to Argear and Parthenex. So about Parthenex. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. So why does he need to die? Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. Okay. <clears throat> so, being tasked to kill Parthenax. Do the right thing. Parthenax deserves to die. Arngear. You did well here today. I don't think the truce will last long, but that will not be on your account. We'll just wait for somebody to leave. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the blades want me to kill Parthenax. Pass it on. Now you see why I've warned you against them, bloodthirsty barbarians. So is it true what they said? Was he Alduin's ally? Yes, but understand, during the days of Alduin's rule, all dragons were his allies. There was nothing else they could be. If not for Parthenax, Alduin could not have been overthrown. It was he that first taught men to use the Thum. Well, haven't decided what to do yet. Ah, you're learning, Dragonborn. Doing nothing can be the wisest choice, although strangely often the most difficult. I trust that you will make the right choice in the end. Listen to the voice that Kinnereth has placed within you, and your path will be clear. Okay. Breath and focus. Should probably talk to Parthenax about this as well. That's what I'm thinking. So let's head on up to the throat of the world. We'll see you in a bit. There he is. Parthenax, how's it going? Don't don't mind my friends. All right. That peasant's extractor is a horrible price. Just look at those needles. Dream your look. Greetings. So, the blades say you deserve to die. The blades are wise not to trust me. Only Khan Miov. I would not trust another Dova. So, why shouldn't they trust you? Dov Walan Farel, we were made to dominate. The will to power is in our blood. You feel it in yourself, do you not? I can be trusted. I know this, but they do not. Only Khan Neov Dova. It is always wise to mistrust a Dova. I have overcome my nature only through meditation and long study of the way of the voice. No day goes by where I am not tempted to return to my inborn nature. Zin Griforwut se Suyech. What is better, to be born good? or to overcome your evil nature through great effort. Okay. So, we can tell the blades at Skyhaven Temple that Parthenex is spared, or kill him. Hmm. Soon arc mora. Something about that last line, though, <clears throat> has resonated. Because through someone you know individual evil if you recall 
the whole reason that uh, Hagar is even in Skyrim and this whole journey began is because his family was killed a long time ago. And he's still, you know, he's on that trek to find out who the killer is, was, you know, who, who knows if they're even alive anymore. There's something about that last line that maybe, <clears throat> you know, the, the individual or individuals that did this, maybe they have also kind of done that, or maybe they kept on killing. You know, who knows? Who knows? But we got some things to do. So we got Parthenax, part of it. We can prepare the trap. I think before we do this, we need to settle this. So let's get some rest, some food, some drink, and let's think on this. And let's come to our decision in the morning. And, uh, well, a foggy good morning. So we made a long journey over to Markarth. We were told we dropped a note, even though I don't think we did. We haven't read the note. More business to attend to. Got some sleep, some food, some drink. Traveled over here to Skyhaven Temple, because it's not too far away. Feeling a little hungry, a little thirsty. And every time we come here, like right here, we've been here a few times now. When I was in the dungeon, a bunch of the guards used to torture the prisoner in the cell next to mine. It wasn't right. It wasn't fair. Fair enough. But yeah, every time we pass through here, there's just that, that feeling, that eerie feeling. So yeah. Can't can't ever quite shake it. Alright, Skyhaven Temple. We decided we're not murdering Parthenax. Need to have a little, little chit chat. Delphi and Nesburn. Looks like they might be outside. All right. See what they have to say. See how they'll take it. I mean, they have an oath, you know. Understandable, but the line about change. Do the right thing. Parthenax deserve. I've got one. Well. Uh -oh. Okay. Things are popping off. Nope. Oh, wrong button. Oh, I do not have my sword. Oh, that's Dragon Ran, not Dragon Bane. Dummy. <laughs> okay. I'm just going on with some practice, I see. <laughs> um, give me that music! That sweet music. Martin, 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 yeah! Alright. Delphine! My oath binds me, Dragonborn. Until Parthenax is dead, you aren't welcome here. So, without Parthenax. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. So, decided to spare his life. Dragonborn, not your decision to make. Parthenax is evil and needs to answer for his crimes. So that's your answer? Revenge? Thought the blades were better than this. We're entering mod territory now. That's why there's no voices, because I have the Parthenax dilemma installed. Because I've never, never done it. Oh. We wouldn't even be here to discuss this if it weren't for Parthenax. She said something. So blind as to let Dragon manipulate into this, you have no idea what you're dealing with. Letting him live is dangerous. So did you question the authority of uh, Roman Cyrodiil or Tiber Septim this way? Those were different times and proven leaders. No one had a reason to question either one of them. 
So you realize without Parthenax, Tiber Septum could not be who he was, right? Nice attempt to deflect the issue, but this is not going to change anything. That dragon has to die for his crimes, regardless of who you invoke. Brunic! Savages! That's what you've become, as bad as the Thalmor. How dare you even suggest such a thing? You test our patience. See, the Greybeards are right about you as well. Bloodthirsty barbarians. You're too far, Dragonborn. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't put you down right now as a traitor to the cause. <laughs> Do not force my wrath if you know what's good for you. Oh boy. Are the gods. Power the tongues. Very well. I have no desire to die here today. Are you sure this is what you want? Parthenex will be spared. Honor my decision. We will not speak of this again. Very well, Dragonborn. If it goes against our better judgment, we will abide by your decision and allow Parthenex to live. Hey, there we go. Cool. Okay. Do you need something? All right. That was a part thanks to Libba. At least a uh, little extra something. People live in peace. All of that fun stuff. Just got to work out some aggression, and we got to go set a trap. So let's head out. Back in Dragon's Reach. This rainy, stormy evening. All right. We're ready, Dragonborn. Just say the word. Even though you said you're just ready, are you ready to spring the trap on the dragon? As I promised, my men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your word. All right, I'm ready. Let's go trap a dragon. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. Called a wing to Dragon's Reach. Do, 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 do. Everybody coming this way, looks like it. There we go. I can't believe we're actually going to try to trap a live dragon in the Jarl's palace. Madness. Glorious madness, yes, but madness nonetheless. Indeed. This is not Sparta. This is actually madness. Go ahead and call this dragon. We're ready. All right. So. See, nice and stormy. All right. Here comes the call. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we called him. Goodbye. Come on down. There he is. Keep you down a bit. Gore, it's okay. Oh wait, we defeated him in the wrong place. <laughs> I totally forgot. He needs to be in here. Whoops. Come get some. This way. There you go, Lucien. You've got the idea. Hey, 
<laughs> Lucian, that was a cheap shot, buddy. to meet you in battle was my undoing, Dovahkiin. I salute your, hmm, low cunning in devising such a Gramin Dol stratagem. Zu'u Bonar, you went to a great deal of trouble to put me in this humiliating position. In Sir Alduin, hmm? no doubt you want to know where to find Alduin. That's right. Where is he hiding? Renik Vaza, an apt phrase. Alduin, Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thumb for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship, whether his Thuum was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Maie, none were yet ready to openly defy him. So, you were telling me where to find Alduin? Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength, devouring the Silesure, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovngarde is at Skaldafen, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Minduran pa ok midoven avarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. Zu'u lost Ofan Hinlan. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Not until Arduin is defeated. Ah, well. Hmm. Croesus. There is one... Detail about Skaldafin I neglected to mention. Okay. Tell me what you know then. Only this. You have the Thurm of a Dova, but without the wings of one, you will never set foot in Skaldafin. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. Okay. Fine. I'll set you free if you promise to take me to Skuldafen. Onikan Korav Gain Mirad. It is wise to recognize when you only have one choice. And you can trust me. Zuni Tarudis. Alduin has proven himself unworthy to rule. I go my own way now. Free me, and I will carry you to Skaldafin. Okay. Well, <clears throat> if I recall correctly, the switch is up here. Yep. Was you? Careful now. All right. Saran Uth, I await your command as promised. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dova can? No, I'm ready to see the world as a only a Dova. Ah. That was terrible. 
I'm ready. Take me to Skuldafin. So great of I warn you, once you've flown the skies of Kaisal, your envy of the Dove will only increase. Amativ, Mubo Kotin Stinselok. The greatest person I've ever met. This is as far as I can take you. Grief both Akrin. I will look for your return. Or Alduin's. Hello, Skaldafen. 